All right. Hi there, I have a 2018 Dynamax Isada 5 Series 36DS. My name is Mayan Shah and you're watching the RVMAX.US YouTube channel. So up front, this has a 6.7 liter Cummins producing 750 foot-pound of torque, and that's connected to an ASIN six-speed transmission. And the front end is a heavy-duty RAM front end, and these Dynamax coaches come standard with the RAM ESC stability package. We also have a four-wheel ABS system and a trailer brake controller in the dash, which we're gonna get into more in depth later on in the video, along with the compartments. Now, this coach has two 220-amp alternators, which gives you a total of 440 amps, charging all of your batteries while running down the road just off of your engine. Now down the side, we have frameless windows. There are a couple non-frameless windows, but essentially if you're looking at the coach from the side, all of these windows are frameless and they vent out very nicely. The front being a Dodge, and this is a 5500 Ram chassis, is a nice, very comfortable cab with all kinds of top-notch features. Again, we're gonna talk more about that later, so I'm gonna hold myself back a little bit. Now all around, we have aluminum polished wheels and the front tires, even though this is a 2018 and it only has 22,000 miles, the front tires are brand Brand new. The rear tires are original, but as I said, the coach is only a couple years old and it only has 22,000 miles, so they're still in good shape, but the fronts are brand new Michelins. But this is a nice paint job. It's not way too out there and crazy like the blue, and the gloss level is superb. And speaking of cosmetics and things, something that goes a little beyond cosmetic is the front cap is a solid piece of fiberglass, and so is the rear cap. Now, I'm pointing this out because a lot of lower-end Class Cs don't use front caps like that. They have seams, which opens up the opportunity for a lot more or water leaks, but this is a solid fiberglass front cap. There are also side cameras on the coach, which automatically come on when you indicate, and there's an automatic exhaust brake as well. So you can use the exhaust brake just like a regular exhaust brake if you want, but there's also an automatic mode, which can be really nice to have. The automatic exhaust brake takes all of the stress out of coming down big hills. And instead of constantly having to play with high and low, it just keeps your speed right where you want it. Now you'll notice there is a massive slide out on the driver's side of the coach, and it is very deep. This holds a nice little love seat right here and then a dinette over here. Now, as we walk towards the back, again, we're gonna go through the compartments later, but this has an optional 8,000 watt Onan quiet diesel generator. These come standard with a 6,000 watt. Now back here we have a 60,000 BTU on-demand propane fired hot water heater. This is a Truma AquaGo on-demand system and it's right beside our 50 amp power cord. Now this has two 15,000 BTU Atwood roof air conditioners that also can operate as a heat pump and put off heat as long as it doesn't get too cold. And of course you have another furnace system which we're gonna get into later. I feel like we have a lot more to get into here. I keep putting things off, but the reason I'm saying that is I not only want to cover these systems, I want to go through them and even some basic operation of these systems because that is very important when you're purchasing a coach. It's not only, you know, what does this tech specs look like? Who cares? Anyone can put together a tech spec sheet. How the manufacturer brings them all together, especially when it comes to operating them, is where a manufacturer can take things to the next level. In the very driver rear corner of this coach, you'll notice a fuel cap, and that's where we can fill our 52 gallon diesel fuel tank. Now off the back, we have another massive frameless window that leads into our bedroom, giving us a nice amount of natural light into the coach. And just in case you forgot how much horsepower and torque you were making, it's uh, put into the paintwork back here. Now this has a 10,000 pound towing capacity and there's a seven flat pin trailer connection there as well. So if your trailer has trailer brakes, that's no problem at all. And towards the back of the coach is really where you can see some of the cool design and the paintwork take off. There's like a design within this color that sort of, I don't know, it's very unique. And uh, I always appreciate when a manufacturer tries a lot to make their paintwork unique because you want yours to stand out in its own way and not look like everything else. Now we also have LED docking lights back here which can significantly help with connecting your trailer. As you see, there are two lights right here that'll pop on and it helps when you're backing up as well even though this has infrared and it can see at night, but it's a nice feature to have. And that percolates throughout the whole coach. So this has two 100 watt solar roof panels that are connected to a 30 amp power controller. This will tend your batteries properly and give you an extra little charge when the sun is out. And while we're talking about things on the roof, the roof is a one piece fiberglass crowned roof, meaning that water will naturally roll off of the roof. So you won't end up with pools of water on the top. There are also two 
15,000 BTU a piece Atwood air conditioners that double as heat pumps. Having 30,000 BTU of cooling power in a coach this size will allow you to obtain cooler temperatures with ease. Now down below there is a 2000 watt Xantrex inverter and with the battery bank and that huge amperage coming from the alternators, this will allow you to run all your 120 outlets, your refrigerator, microwave, TVs, and all that good stuff going down the road just off of your batteries. And remember you also have that solar helping keep those batteries charged. The 2000 watt inverter allows you to capture all that energy in a more meaningful way than just charge the batteries. Oh, and it has a standalone Alone auto gen start system and when you step inside you'll find a precision circuits multiplex system all tied together in a nice touch screen in the center of the coach which allows you to control the auto gen start the generator your fans your lighting the slide out the awning all in one spot and on the passenger side of the coach in the patio space we have a two-step carefree of Colorado awning with none of the arms that can get in your way it just comes out with the arms folding horizontally and then there's a bar in the middle of this that is assists with an actual fold and tilt downwards, kind of making an eagle's arm or a bird arm around the patio space, which significantly adds to the amount of shade that this thing will provide when the sun is getting a little low in the sky. We also have a GFI protected outlet center right here, and that's next to our entertainment center, which is a 32 inch smart TV with a audio head unit that has two additional speakers. So this is a nice entertainment bay, especially considering we have this gorgeous patio awning out here that does have LEDs built in. Now to the left of that, you'll notice where our propane fired furnace system is. And right next door to that, we have a gravity fill on this side of the coach to fill your water tank. And this is really nice because this allows you to fill your water tank from both sides of the coach because of course you can hook into it in your wet bay over there. If you leave last minute, or even if you don't, it's just nice having the convenience of this, especially if you're just trying to get some water somewhere and it's nice to have access on both sides. Back here is where our rear bedroom slide is. Again, it's worth noting the graphics in this paint. I mean, they look fantastic, especially when you get a good flat piece here. This thing is definitely gonna stand out in any resort. And before we move on to the interior of the coach, this rear cap here is also a solid piece of fiberglass, which is very nice from the perspective of having a more leak proof rear cap. But on top of that, when you look at it, it just has a high quality look. You can tell it's a fiberglass body piece and not a cheap siding that's molded together and has seams all over it. So with that, let's jump on to the interior of this coach. You would never know looking on paper that this is a double slide coach, but this slide right here is so massive that it absolutely cracks open this interior. And then the bedroom slide is always nice. It gives you a lot more extra space just to get around the bed. And all of the materials and decor, as well as this flooring, go very well together. There's LED lights throughout the coach. There's some beautiful LED accent lighting in the kitchen here. The bathroom is very spacious. There's a touch screen to control all the systems. And all of the upholstery feels fantastic. So we have a little couch right here. And there are cup holders for each person who could be sitting in here. We've got a couple here, a couple holder there. So these not only recline for both seats here. So you flick this and you've got a nice little recliner now, but this also turns into a full size or about a full size bed. So that's a really nifty little setup right there. I'm quite surprised that they hid a little fold out bed among a nice couch that also has recliners. This is like the Swiss army knife of love seats. And when I said almost full size, I meant to say almost, or basically a twin size. Actually that looked a little wider than a twin size. Um, but about the same length as one. Now right here, we have a nice little dinette and this turns into a bed as well. So this thing can sleep a lot. Being a super C and still a C floor plan, we get a lot of sleeping arrangements here. So not only have this dinette, which is A, very spacious when it's in both forms and there's a little drawer right here so you've got storage in there as well. We also have a bed up front in the cab here. This is the classic C position to have an extra bed. And this is pretty big actually. So you just pull this piece down. And there you go. This is like a full size bed. So this is a good space right here. And you have little mounts here to put your ladder on so you can easily climb up and down. We have a nice smart TV here. I love the fact that they gave this bed a countertop up here because this countertop has two cup holders in it as well. So, I mean, I don't wanna go on record recommending anything. 
Uh, let's say that someone named Mayan would probably ride up there. I don't know who that guy is, though. He's pretty crazy. But yeah, so this is pretty nice to have a little space here. You can set stuff down. You've got USB ports. And by the way, there are USB ports everywhere in this coach. But there are USB ports up there, as well as a standard 120 outlet. And we have a smart TV right here that can stay here. And it can also fold out so it can give everybody in the rest of the coach a good view. Now here we have full Corian countertops. And this flips up. And we have a beautiful faucet here. These two pieces will pull out. Revealing a nice hard surface dual sink. I love this. This looks beautiful. Goes very well with the styling in here. It's, uh, it's sort of a merge between... And because this is called classic American, and especially with this kind of pebbled glass, and this look on here is just absolutely amazing. I love that tempered glass with the wood. But the wood combined with the flooring and the rest of the style in the bus, it kind of brings contemporary to the classic American home. It's an interesting combination of both. I think it's a great style, and Dynamax nailed it in here. Now this is now making more sense why this door gives you access right outside the door. You can put a trash can down here, so you have a nice Corian insert. And you've got a trash can there. Now over to the right, we have a backsplash giving you protection so you're not gonna get stuff on your wood here. And it's covered in like a glass, a thin glass piece, or that might be a very clear plexiglass that's really thick. That's actually, that's glass, that's gotta be a tempered glass. Looks very nice. And then we have a three burner high output stove here. So this will fold like so out of your way. And you've got a three burner gas stove with a built-in spark. So actually the propane is not on right now, so this is not gonna light up. But these are included in all the systems that we go through before you'll purchase the coach. Now we have a nice microwave slash convection oven right here, and then a household refrigerator. And uh, household refrigerators are just the way to go. They're on all new coaches. It's uh, it's the way to move on these things, especially because we have that built-in 2000 watt inverter. It allows you to run this thing with ease. And the fact that we have that massive amount of alternator output allows us to easily keep all of our batteries charged, even with the refrigerator draw going down the road just with the engine. So that alternator output and that big inverter will come into play a lot of times and help you out while you're all on the road. Now right here, we have a Precision Circuits touchscreen interface. And uh, through this, you can do all kinds of things. Lighting, you can check your meters, you can put slides out, you can access the awning to put that out, you can see what's going on with your inverter. You see we have 193 hours on the 8,000 watt, there's an auto start. Um, this is to control your loads. I mean, this is, this is just a fantastic system. Um, this is a really nice way to bring everything, I mean, even the accessory, the fans you can turn on and off the, the vent fan. So this is a nice system. I'm very impressed with this on the Super C. Um, this makes interfacing with the coach a lot easier. Now right in here is where our bathroom. So first of all, I kind of like the fact that this is separate. Um, some of you might not like the fact that the bedroom is separate from the bathroom. That depends on how you feel. Me personally, I kind of like this setup. It all depends. I could be happy with this setup or I could be happy with the of bathroom connected. I kind of like it disconnected to be completely honest because typically I wake up before Kaya so I like to get into the bathroom and I can be quiet and I'm shut off in my own little space. So you have this nice private bathroom in here and um, as you can tell I looked into the mirror one too many times here. So unfortunately I have broken this, uh, this mirror. I'm kind of shocked that it didn't hold up. A lot of other coaches hold up pretty well to this face. Um, but this one did not, it gave out. So we'll be able to work something out with that in the end of the day, it's just a mirror, so it's not a big deal. We have a nice sink here, good amount of space, stainless steel. I respect the fact that they gave us stainless steel in here, but stainless steel is just easy to disinfect. You can put a lot of hard chemicals on it, it's not gonna damage it, so you can keep this spick and span in here and bacteria free. Now right here we have a sizable shower. Let me walk in. Tempered glass, of course. I like the texturing on this fiberglass wall here. It just, it gives it a better vibe. I don't know what it is about it. It's just nice to see the texturing. It's very weird how, for me personally, the texturing goes a long way on this fiberglass piece instead of just giving you straight fiberglass. You know, you can leave your soap. We have a nice shower setup that's adjustable, so this will go up and down on this pole. 
and it comes out and you can turn it off via this, which I find to be nice because a lot of times you're in a coach trying to conserve water. If you're out there boondocking somewhere, when you take a shower, you want to limit the water. But if you have to turn this off every time, you have to go back and find your exact spot again, which can be pretty annoying. Um, so it's nice to be able to just cut it off real quick, save exactly where you have your little hot, you know, your warmth, your temperature set up, and uh, use this nice Oxygenics uh, head to keep showered, keep clean. Oxygenics is nice. It's just better for rinsing. It can reduce rinse time, and it's pretty efficient with water. So it's nice to have that, that head. And that's on a lot of newer coaches nowadays. It just makes sense because it's more efficient with water consumption. Now, right over here, we have our toilet. Once you're in here, there's actually a good amount of space. So I'm gonna sit down and it's a little cramped because Kaya is just sitting right in front of me. But even with Kaya there, um, I'm pretty comfortable. I mean, you could be even be using the sink. There's plenty of space. It's a little touchpad right here. So what I like about these Tecmas is there's a water saver mode. So you can either flush it normal or flush it with the water saver where it uses less water. This is a nice little piece. And I love the fact that we have lighting here. That is something they've gotten down very well in this coach is the lighting. Um, there's excellent lighting everywhere you look. Huge storage space, nice electric fan here. It's a Max Air fan. Oh, right back here, and I love the, first of all, before we move on, I, these windows are superb. I love the vents, okay? These are great. You can poke them out, let a little venting in while you have your fan open, but check these out, right? These vent, however, instead of having this crossbar across, taking away the visibility out of the coach, these have it where the entire piece vents out. So you just twist this, and it hasn't been done in a while, so it's a little sticky, and it vents out the whole piece. So not only does it allow you a huge amount of venting uh, capacity, but you have a big window here. You don't sacrifice your window space. So that's a little minor thing I wanted to point out is the windows are huge. Even this window right here, check this out. This is a huge window, no frame in the middle, ruining the view. Jade, of course, that by the way, you could easily take this out. So if it was cold outside, I would 1000% do it. Take these screens out. You get a crystal clear view through these huge, beautiful windows. And in the summertime, slap them back on. Then you got protection from the bugs. Let's step into the bedroom space. Here it is. We have our sizable bedroom space with our own smart TV and our own thermostat. We also have a huge window out the back giving you an incredible amount of natural lighting in the morning. And of course you could easily block it out because throughout the whole coach, we have these shades like this. So you can easily block it out if you want, no problemo. And we do have a king size bed here. This is fantastic, really great setup. Now we have reading lights, they're LEDs, and you can notice, I'm sure you noticed, one of them's off, I know I did, it drives me absolutely crazy. You just click them like that. Now you can actually control that through the touchscreen, which is super nice, and oh my gosh, I have to mention, how could I not mention this? This has, I don't know where, there's buttons throughout the coach. Thank you, Dynamax. If you're watching this video, which you probably aren't, thank you so much for putting this in. We have a master lights button. Why don't more manufacturers do this? It's just one button that kills all the lights in the coach. I cannot believe more manufacturers don't do this. A lot of Prevo buses have it. Some manufacturers do do it. American Coach has been doing it for a long time. Um, Newmar has sort of their version of it, but mm, mm, Newmar's version is not the same. It's, mm, it's not one button. This is one button. Thank you. And it's right by the headboard. More manufacturers need to do this. I'm done. But we do have windows on each side here. It's actually a pretty deep slide. So good head headboard, good amount of space back here. There's storage everywhere. We have a smart TV. We have a wardrobe in the corner. And oh, look at that. They even gave us a little piece of cedar. That's very nice of them. Is that cedar? Yeah. Cedar. And there's USB ports here. There's USB ports there. There's outlets here. There's outlets everywhere. Wow, look at that cedar line drawers too. That's impressive. I'm impressed by that. Now you've got a water pump down there um, and access to the back of your water heater and your Truma AquaGo, the continuous propane hot water heater system, the controller for that is right here. Um, so you can quickly turn that on in the morning. You want to get some hot water. And by the way, it is instantaneous. It literally won't come on until you run the hot water. That's going to conclude our tour of the interior here. 
And uh, I didn't mention absolutely everything. One of the things I forgot to mention is this excellent surround sound system we have in the living room space. There's speakers everywhere. Surround sound in the Super C, had to forget it. When you step in the cockpit, you'll notice how luxurious and comfortable it is. All the buttons are laid out in a very intuitive manner. The gear selector is a classic. And honestly, you can't go wrong with this style of gear selector. It's very satisfying to operate. We also have a gen start button up here and a lights master switch, which can be very convenient at night if they're getting in your eyes. And the sound system is superb. The amount of bass will shock you. Let's go hit the road with a test drive. It's a good driving coach. The transmission feels fantastic. The 6.7 itself um, sounds great. It's not too loud up here. It's pretty... Uh, I mean, you hear the engine, it's like riding in a Dodge Ram truck up here. You've got a heavy duty Dodge front end, the additional stability package from Ram, and the coach stays in its lane. It minds its own business. It feels stable at higher speeds. Oh, that window is open a little bit. And it's a good driving coach on the road. I mean, this is doing 70 miles an hour. I feel very comfortable right now. I feel like I'm in a nice truck. I can sit here and make minimal corrections. So right here, I found my spot. I can just park the steering wheel there for the most part with a couple little minor interventions here and there. But for the most part, on a straight line, I have my eyes in the right spot. Just park the steering wheel there. It's gonna stay there. It's a stable coach. And that's why you buy a Super C. You want all of the great amenities that a big Class C will have, AKA a lot of sleeping arrangements and not be sweating bullets when you're towing a lot. This is gonna be a stable tow. This is the 5500 chassis. Yeah, front end feels great. So the cockpit area is really nice. I feel very comfortable in here. I feel like I'm in a nice truck and uh, I'm a big diesel Class A fan, but I will say, it's hard to get this closed capsule feel in a Class A. It's just not going to happen. You're sitting out in the open. This is more of a cockpit down here. And uh, I like that. I like how it feels. I feel more focused. And uh, look, again, there are pros and cons to every single coach on the market. Um, that's just a reality here. But it drives like it's brand new. And I don't blame it, right? It's 22,000 miles. It's not even broken in yet. So you see, as I switch lanes here, I can see that there's a car coming up next to me. I feel very comfortable switching lanes, going from looking at my mirror to the side camera there. The throttle is very nice, and the transmission knows exactly where to place the revs all the time. It's uh, mapped out perfectly in the computer. It's a great riding coach. Now you can shift manually here if you want to, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's extremely comfortable. This seat is also very comfortable, and I appreciate the ability to lower it. I like sitting low in a coach, getting a good, view out because we're not trying to look at two feet in front of the coach we're trying to look way down the road right so there's no reason to have the seat way up high especially if you're a taller person exhaust brake sounds good has a good deep sound to it and the brakes feel excellent as well so no problem just make our turn right here Steering is absolutely butter smooth around town. Around here it gets pretty fat, but if you have smaller hands, then you can still grip the wheel and it's not oversizing you. That's a problem with some of the newer BMW M steering wheels. I think they're huge, I love them, but if you have small, tiny hands, it's hard to wrap your hands around the steering wheel. So you need a little bit of a thinner grip here, um, which I appreciate, but the controls are all laid out so well too. At my thumb, which is where you want it. Your thumb is probably the most coordinated, I would imagine, for things like that, sitting there texting all the time. That's the one you want to operate these little buttons, right? Not your index fingers or anything like this. This you can do without thinking once you learn where everything is. And the screen is pretty big here. That is also nice. Uh, for me, it's weird getting in a coach that has a backup monitor there, but if you're a little less comfortable with the coach, it's probably actually comforting for you to have the backup camera located where you'd have a mirror. Um, and you can also use the mirror as a mirror if you just turn this off. You can see what's going on in the back of your coach and keep an eye on everybody. So it's definitely worth noting the turning radius in this coach is excellent. Um, that significantly improves maneuverability. Um, the turning radius in this coach is really nice. I mean, it turns very sharply. 
Um, it makes maneuvering it a lot easier because uh, it allows you to go deeper in turns, AKA letting yourself go wider. Um, so when it gets tight, that tight turning radius is gonna really help you out. I thought that was worth uh, noting and throwing in there. So up next, we're gonna get into the compartments. But before that, I wanted to mention if you are interested in this coach, this is my phone number. Feel free to shoot me a text or give me a call at your convenience. Now let's dive into the quote underbelly. The rear passenger compartment is a storage compartment as is the next compartment towards the front. Now both of these doors shut with a satisfying clink and they have gas shocks as well. So they'll stay open for you. Now right here is where we have our fresh tank. And by the way, you might've noticed the other, the gray and black tank above the previous compartment. Well, we have our fresh tank here as well as our water pump and water filter. In front of the fresh water compartment, we have a large storage compartment. The driver rear compartment, we have a 20.3 gallon propane tank the wet bay is very well labeled and we also have a sewer tank flush and there's LED lights throughout the basement compartments here. There's also a stainless outside shower. Attached to the door, there's a small storage compartment where you can store your dump hose very easily. Now next door to that, we have our 8,000 watt Onan quiet diesel, which is a big plus to have over the 6,000 watt. And the 6,000 watt is a great generator. It's just, it wouldn't allow for the two 15,000 BTU air conditioners and a lot of other systems that, that draw a good bit of power. So it's nice to have a little more oomph. And next door to the generator, we have our hydraulic leveling system and our two coach side batteries that are on a huge slide out tray so you could easily add more batteries if you wanted to boondock more often. The next order to that is sort of an electronics compartment where we have our auto gen start system in the back, our 2000 watt Santrex inverter on the left and on the right we have our automatic transfer switch that has a built in surge guard so this is about a $1200 component that will protect you from surges and is more of a, a smart automatic transfer switch. Hold on. I'm ready. Yep, go for it. Recording. Recording. Yeah. Okay. So up front, this has a 6.7 liter Cummins producing 750. 